bastards! What up, muddy funsters? Today, I'm gonna to be taking a quick overview of my latest purchase, which is the Hennessy Hammock uh, Expedition Classic. As most of us out there in this wild camp in Malarkey, I've got a bit of hammock acquisition syndrome. I really wanna get myself a warbonnet blackbird, but can't really warrant spending that sort of money on the full kit and caboodle, so I trawl eBay, just picked this up for about 60 quid. Never set it up. Let's have a little look, shall we? Now, I got this for 60 quid off of eBay. Come with the snake skins attached. And as always, the Hennessy Hammock tree straps. What I would say about these is they are a fiddle and a faff, get bleeding rid. All I've done for this, before I change out my suspension to whoopee slings and stuff, all I've done is added a um, figure of eight on the bike and a carabiner. I've got some cargo straps which I'm going to wrap around the tree, basically do a marlin spike hitch and use the carabiner as the uh, spike for the marlin spike hitch until I get it all swapped out. It's just so I can get it up in the air and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna put this up now and we'll have a bit of a closer look. Right, so basically I've strung it from tree to tree, nice and level. And with these snake skins, all you do is pull them back. Pull them back. There's your hammock with the tarp on top. Now with this tarp, you just got a little clip here, which clips onto that with a plastic loop to keep you tighten it and loosen it. The same at the other end. Just a case of getting your guy lines. <coughs> that's here. Okay. Looks like I'm going to need some more guy line material. Because what he's done is connected both of these together. Which isn't a problem for now. And I'll still be able to show you what's going on. Oh wait. And there you have it. Um, it's not ideal, to be honest with you. I need to alter this set up a little bit, um, purely because I'm gonna put separate lines on from the hammock, because this opens up the body for the asymmetrical lie to the tarp to give me a bit more room. If you look at the tarp above, it's a little bit, a little bit tall. I'm not a fan of that. So I'll, I'll alter all of that anyway. This is just an overview. So as you can see, the hammock comes complete with a tarp which covers the asymmetric lie. Your head will go feet this end, head the other end. So if your hammock is that way, you lay across it that way, giving you a perfectly flat lie. Now, the difference between this and the other hammocks is exactly that, the asymmetrical lie, the same as the war bonnet. I'm a big advocate of the 10th Wonder hammocks. They're all normal uh, whipped end hammocks, which is fine and they work a treat, but 
it can be a bit of an issue from time to time getting that diagonal line. So I thought I'd give this one a try. Now another special feature of this is the way you actually get in it, which is what I'll show you now. Right, a bit of a uh, warning to any of you sensitive types out there before I get in this hammock. It's very similar to a Saturday night at Kerry Katona's. As first off, you've got to open the flaps, then there's a lot of wriggling and grunting, and eventually, once you're in and finished, there's a nice sigh of relief. So, I'll just show you. It's a, I'll flip this out of the way so you can see. It's a bottom entry hammock, which means you open up the bottom there, the flaps, you back in, you sit down, I'll kick my shoes off. Lie down, that automatically closes. And then you find your sweet spot. pretty comfy but I do believe I've hung one end too high in fact I know I've hung one end too high and it's a bit tight right what's that like that ain't too bad and then to get out all you need to do part the flaps lean forward and you're away right Let's have a quick look. So inside the hammock, you have a ridge line organizer there with two separate pockets. Big enough, uh, the small one can hold your phone and vape or whatever you use. The big one, you could probably shove, I'll say a five week old kitten in it if you needed to. Also got a couple of hooks on the ridge line. So you can hang your socks, your boots, whatever you need to. Plenty of room, not really a lot to say. On the outside, completely covered with the mesh. Now the idea of this is by entering from the bottom, mozzies don't attack from underneath apparently. Uh, done a lot of reading up about it and it works. It's a bit of a faff, I've got to say, there's not a lot of headroom and it does feel a lot smaller than what I'm used to. But you've got to get used to it. As I say, this ain't a review, it's just an overview. But it's in good nick, certainly for a second hand thing and I'm, I'm quite happy with it. To be fair, what else can I tell you about it? Right, negatives from my side of thing. The fact that you can't undo the mozzie net. Um, that means I'm not gonna be able to hang out my hammock and make a brew or make fry up in the morning. I'm gonna to have to come out of Katona's chasm every time. I can imagine if you're using a sleep mat that getting in and out will be a pain in the butt because obviously once again, you're gonna to have to fold your sleep mat or something in half but I can't say that until I've used it. The rainfly looks mightily small. Brilliant for summer camping, I'd imagine, but yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work out. But all in all, proper impressed. I'm gonna lower the other end and see if I can get a comfy lie in it, because it's uh, it does appear to be a lot smaller than what I'm used to. Right then, packing away should just be the opposite. Um, yeah, whack it in, pull snake skins down, you should be done. Never done it before, if it cocks up, it cocks up. Get rid of these steaks. They're steaks, mutt. Not the sort you can eat. back on that might help I think as well I'm definitely definitely gonna be changing out the um, the tarp on this I've got plenty of tarps so I'll do that so get your snake skin I 
could liken it to a lot of things, but I'm not that crude. You ask Kerry Katona, and you just slip it in. So the Hennessy Hammock, asymmetric, expedition, classic lie. I'm going to spend a few nights in it coming up and I will let you know what it's like to keep in. Almost done it right. Just a tiny little bit of faffing. Goodbye though, and I did adjust it and I did lay back down in it and reposition myself. There's going to be a lot of fault finding with it, but job, job. How quick and easy is that? Fit straight back into the stuff sack. I'll get these changed out for whoopee slings, and we will be golden. So, sorry, there's not a lot of info there. Um, if you want to know all the dimensions and everything, that's what Google's for. Um, if you're like me, you've probably just tuned in to see how they work. We'll be doing an upcoming vid very shortly on how it actually works when you're using it. But, as I say, it's got an asymmetric lie. A lot cheaper than buying myself a war bonnet. It's going to be a bit of an issue, I think. Um, getting some sort of DIY under quilt for it, obviously with the bottom entry. If I've got an idea for that, I might do a half under quilt and a half pad. Um, or do an under quilt with a slit in it. But there you go, not even looking what I'm doing. Stuffed away in its stuff sack, not original stuff sack, but a stuff sack nonetheless. So your hammock and tarp fit in a bag that big. I also get my pegs and my tree straps in there. Not the Hennessy ones, because they're like tits on fish. Ta-ra! For clarity, the view you saw of me lying in the hammock was when the hammock was not set up correctly. The lie is a lot flatter. I've sussed it. It's sorted. Also, the views in this film were for entertainment purposes only. I have no first-hand experience of Katona's chasm of death nor do I want to. What somebody think of the children? <laughs>